Well, in this video I'm going to show you um, the difference between the surface area and the volume of a triangular prism. Um, the reason I'm going to do this is because this is very often um, confused in exams. Area and volume are completely um, different things. So if we are um, going to do the volume, then the volume of a solid is the area of the cross section times the length of consistency. I'll put in here cross section as well. So the cross section of the triangular prism is the triangle itself. And that triangle is consistent through this length here. So first of all we work out the area of the triangle. Now the triangle has a height of 3 and a base of 4. And we must times that by half. Again, that's often forgotten and leads to a mistake and loss of marks. So 3 times 4 is 12 times a half is 6. That'd be six, so this is in centimeters, six centimeters squared. Now the length of consistency is seven. Right, that's clearly written there. So it's six times seven. And so the volume of the uh, the volume really is quite straightforward, and it's forty-two centimeters cubed. Now the surface area is quite a bit harder, really, because if you look at this uh, prism, although we're looking at it front on, it's got a lot of surfaces. Okay, so let's just think how many surfaces it's got and what the dimensions of each of them are. And remember, we've got to work out the area of those surfaces. Well, there are two triangular um, surfaces, exactly the same. Now, you've worked out one of them already as 6, so the two together would be 12. So I'm going to call it triangle 1 plus triangle 2, so 6 plus 6. Now, the, you've got a rectangular surface at the front, that's 5 times 7. So we'll put that there. So the rectangular at the front is 5 times 7, which equals 35. I'll just put area here. So we've got the two triangles and we've got the surface at the front. We've then got the floor surface, if you like, the floor. And that's 4. Again, it's another rectangle. That's 4 times 7, which is 28. Okay, and then you've got the back. Okay, that's the last surface, the back. And the back is three high. Okay, we can see it's three high, and it's seven across. So there's a bit more work in doing the surface area. But it does come up quite a bit this, so it's well worth learning. Okay, so we've got remember there are two triangles here. I've shown you how to work them out um, in the first part of the problem. So it's six and six. And it's twelve. And then we've got to add twelve, thirty, five, twenty-eight, and twenty-one to get the full answer. 7 and 8 is 15, and 1 is 16, carry the 1. 1 and 3 is 4, 4, 2, 6, 8, and 1, 9. So the surface area then is 96 centimetres squared, as opposed to the completely different calculation of 6 times 7 um, to get 40 centimetres cubed for the volume um, of this triangular prism. So hopefully that um, makes it clear, they're completely different things. Please make sure when your exam comes up, you know which one you're doing.